Okay, uh, last week we worked on uh, uh, linear gradient fills. So we were filling up our full canvas. Really, we were filling up a rectangle that was the full size of our canvas uh, with multiple colors here. Well, today we're going to do the same thing, but instead of linear, which is straight across. So here we went from the top left to, th to the bottom right. You could also go directly across rather than an angle or up. Whatever angle you want, we can go up and down as well. But today we're going to work on radial, which is circular fills. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to start modifying last week since it's so similar. Um, so what I'm going to do here is let's get rid of the colors in the middle here and we'll just go from blue to yellow across like that. Um, so we have a rectangle here, which we uh, have set to be the same size as our canvas. By the way, this is a uh, series. There's an annotation, should be an annotation on the screen to the playlist. Be sure you watch the previous tutorials before you continue here. Also, I'm assuming that you have the basic knowledge of HTML, uh, basic HTML, and some basic JavaScript, at least. I should have said that like 10 tutorials ago. Anyway, um, and here we're going to, instead of do a linear gradient, what we're going to do is we're going to do a radial. And so we'll erase linear there, capital R. This is case sensitive, radial gradient. And with the linear, we just give it two sets of points, a starting point and the end point. So uh, the beginning left and right, X and Y, the beginning top, and left x and y and also where we want to go to x and y well you actually need to give four different numbers uh, for the radial uh, so what we'll do here is I'll say 200 I'll say 50 I'll say 10 I'll say 200 uh, 50 and 300 okay so what are these numbers the first number, what we're doing basically is we're drawing two uh, imaginary invisible um, circles and we're drawing the gradient between the two. So what we're doing here is we're giving the radius of the first circle and then the X and Y and then we're going to do the same. We're going to give the radius um, for the second X. I'm sorry. I said that. Uh, no, I said that right. Uh, and then the X and Y. So let's go ahead and refresh up here. And as you can see, we have a blue circle fading out to a yellow circle. So let's go ahead and, and change some of these values. Uh, and I think I did say that. I, I can't remember what I just said, but let's change that to 20. And that would be moving uh, the X and Y. So it's, it's X, Y, radius, X, Y, radius. So the l how far left the center of the first circle is. So if I want to go further over, I can say move it to 300. There we go. And if I want it uh, to be further down, I can move it to 150. And now it's further down. And its radius is 10, which is, uh, as you can see, kind of small. I can make it bigger. I can make it 20. And if I refresh up here, you can see it got a little bit bigger. Uh, let's do, let's go extreme and say 100. Boom, it's really big now. Uh, let's go ahead and set it back to, we'll set it down to 20, I think was a good number there. Oops, I did 200. There we go. Okay, uh, so now that we have the X and Y of that, we have the X and Y of uh, our second circle here. So let's go ahead and set the X to the same so they're centered if we want them to be centered together we could just give them the same X and Y so the center point of both circles is the same uh, and of course they don't have to be if I want it to kind of uh, point in a certain direction I can change let's say I'll change this to uh, 250 instead of 150 You can see it starts to move that circle down further, kind of giving it the, the feel like kind of like it's pointing down. Let's go ahead and change that to um, 400, I 
think might be a good number. Let's see how that looks. There we go. So now it's kind of pointing down. Actually, now it's almost looking like uh, it's a, a ball with some colors there. So um, that's that. Now I do want to point out that you don't want the... Let me set this to 299 and see what happens there. Not much of a difference. Let's set this to 250. There we go. If you start making the radius of the second circle smaller than um, what I have found, uh, smaller than the, um, the x uh, or the y of the first circle, you start getting this cutoff. Uh, I don't really know. I haven't read anything about that. I've just discovered that from playing around myself. Um, but you definitely don't want uh, that to happen. So let's say... I set this to 100 and this to 3 or 250, or let's say 350, and we refresh. Um, I guess it doesn't happen that way. It's so if I have found myself, and I can't really uh, explain this because uh, I haven't seen anything talking about it online, it's just something I discovered playing around with this. If you put the radius of the second circle lower than the uh, X of the first circle, it kind of screws up the picture. Keep that in mind. Now, of course, uh, we can also, let's uh, go ahead and line some of this back up. Uh, let's put this down to 200. This at, uh, let's say, 50 for that. And we'll do the same thing, 50 here. We'll do this at 50. And we'll do, let's just do like that. So we have kind of a, uh, s kind of like a sun, only reversed coming out of there. Um, we can, again, add colors, stop, more color stops. So we can say blue, red, blue, um, try to think of colors I haven't used. I'll just say green. And of course these values, as I said in the last tutorial, are anywhere from 0 to 1, uh, depending on where you want it positioned based on what we have set up here. Um, so let's go ahead and set this to 2, point 2, and this to point 4. And when we refresh, now we have it goes from blue to red to blue and then out to green. Uh, and the second blue is 0.4 ways across our total uh, span of our fill. Uh, so that would be 40%. This would be 80%. So you can see it's a little bit further there. Um, and that's also based on the size of our circles as well, unlike our linear, which was the entire size of our rectangle. Well, I hope I explained that well. <laughs> I tried my best. Um, and, uh, of course, you can always come to our IRC channel. I'll try my best to help you again. I am learning HTML5 Canvas myself. When I'm teaching these tutorials, I'm really only a few steps ahead of where I'm teaching. So hopefully I'm explaining things well. I think uh, there are some benefits of that. Since I'm learning, it's kind of fresh in my head. And maybe I explain things to someone uh, better than someone who has it mastered. I in, in some cases, and in some cases I can say things inaccurately. Also, it helps me learn to teach you. Um, so, once again, thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. And I hope that you have a great day. There should be a link in the description to my website. Again, have a great day.